Look, we'll go to Randolph in the morning and we'll make a motion for a continuance 24 hours. Why would we want to do that? To subpoena Colonel Jessup. What? Listen for a second. No. Just hear me no, out. No, I won't listen and I won't hear you out. Your passion is compelling, Joe. It's also useless. Loudon Downey needed a trial lawyer today. You chicken shit. You're gonna use what happened today as an excuse to give up. It's over. Why did you ask Jessup for the transfer order? What? In Cuba, why did you ask Jessup for the transfer order? What does order? it matter? Why? I wanted the damn transfer order. Bullshit. You could have gotten it by picking up the phone and calling any one of a dozen departments at the Pentagon. You didn't want the transfer order. You wanted to see Jessup's reaction when you asked for the transfer order. You had an instinct, and it was confirmed by Markinson. Now, damn it, let's put Jessup on the stand and end this thing. What possible good could come from putting Jessup on the stand? He told Kendrick to order the code red. He did? That's great. Why didn't you say so? And of course, you have proof of that. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. You were sick the day they taught law at law school. You put him on the stand and you get it from him. Oh, we get it from him. Yes, no problem. We get it from him. Colonel Jessup, isn't it true that you ordered the code red on Santiago? Listen, we're all a little... Eh, I'm sorry, your time's run out. What do we have for the losers, Judge? Well, for our defendants, it's a lifetime at exotic Fort Leavenworth. And for defense counsel Kathy, that's right, it's a court martial. Yes, Johnny, after falsely accusing a highly decorated Marine officer of conspiracy and perjury, Lieutenant Kathy will have a long and prosperous career teaching typewriter maintenance at the Rocco Colombo School for Women. Thank you for playing, should we or should we not? Follow the advice of the galactically stupid! I'm sorry I lost your set of steak knives. <laughs> 